Hello everyone and welcome back guys to a brand new video where today we are here with the 2021 Indy 500. Yes, we did this race last year. Actually went rather well in the end. I mean we went from I think it was 22nd to 7th at the end of the day. We had a good opportunity to do a bit better but you know it was my first sort of proper big oval race. Got a couple of the rules a little bit wrong and just generally wanted to try and get to the end. This year obviously we've been doing a few more oval races uh, with the NASCAR 2021 Cup Series. Obviously this is one of the reasons why I haven't been able to do a couple of races recently uh, from that but we will be continuing on uh, with that championship when I do get a chance in the near future. But today though yeah Indy 500 time once more. I don't drive the Indy car too much. In the practice that I've done, the aero push this year is massive in comparison to what it was like last year. So we'll wait and see as to how things go. But of course, we are starting on the outside. It's apparently only too wide, though. So I'm not too sure what that's all about. But we shan't worry about that too much. As always, 200 laps around the Indy Speedway. Uh, we, we only get one shot at this. Uh, this is the only split I can do, unfortunately. So if, if things go wrong, that, that's me out of it this year. Uh, so we'll wait and see as to how things go over the course of today. But of course, this video, like every other, is uploaded in 4K 60fps. So if you don't want to watch it in the highest possible quality, make sure you get your graphic settings up on YouTube as well. But yeah, fingers crossed we can get to the end again. You know, I love to walk away. I, I, as always, the aim is just to try and get to the flag. If we could walk away with like a top 10, I'd be happy. If we could walk away with a top 5, I'd be even happier. A top 3, I'd be pretty ecstatic. And then, yeah, I, I don't think... We're really going to win this one, but you never quite know. Indy is an interesting race where things can very much be defined right at the very end. So let's just wait and see as to what happens over the course of today. Then hopefully we'll keep it nice and clean off the start. Just try and get through the first few laps, get used to the aero push and everything like that. And just try and make it through the sort of first couple of cautions that will always happen around here fairly early on. Let's change about the fuel position. Back to where we need it. And let's get ready to go green then here for the Indy 500. Starting 26th, we didn't qualify. This is a non-quali split. Thought I'm better off just getting people with my own eye rating rather than a wild mix. But let's do this thing. Probably going to have to concentrate a lot near the start. There we go. Oh, are we going? Go. Oh, that's not a good start. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. Inside. Not sure what that was all about. Clear inside. Inside. Oh my Clear god, inside. they're already massively backed up towards the front. It's probably going to be a wreck pretty much instantly here. I think everyone's just so scared of the aero push. I think our best course of action at the start is just to sit at the back. Just watching these guys go three almost four wide. Come on, man. Oh, well, we have, have we made up spots now? We're down quite a few. I think Crew Chief got a bit muddled up where we were. Can't afford to lose the slipstream now, the guys in front. But no idea what that was for a start. Thought I was being cautious, but there were a couple of guys just going nowhere. You have to lift though early on. Look at that! Oh. So much wash from the front end. Wonder how much optionals will have when we do finally pit. Ooh, that was close. This guy doesn't really know what he's doing by looks of it. Awesome, the FFB is really high around here. That lap was a 
Let's just nudge the brakes a bit into the corners to make sure we get the front end dialed in. Oh! There's one, eh? Yeah. Still pretty much at the rear, I'm tempted just to pit. Just top up the fuel. I didn't take long at all for the first wreck of the day. We're not even 10 miles in yet. Someone's already looped it. Don't think they hit anyone. Almost back to where we started though, which is good. Trying to just save as much fuel as we can early on. Again, if we sit around the back, as long as we're still on the lead lap with 50 to go, you're probably in quite a good stead here. Like I said, I'm tempted to pit to see if we did pick up any front wing damage from that 0x. This is well things like the halo, you don't realise how much that blocks the vision round here. Right, so pit road is open. Like I said, we're probably just going to dive it in. Ooh. Top up on the fuel. Just to make sure you know everything is as it should be. So yeah, it feels like the best pace to sit in terms of getting fast laps is like nine tenths behind the guy in front, but overtaking is just going to be so difficult. Two to green though. Watch your speed. Pit lane speed limit is 97 kilometers per hour. Obviously, our pit box is really near the end as well. Or this end, this is the number 26 car. No optionals though, which is good. Oh, I forgot to take tyres off. Don't think there's a limit of sets though, which is fine. Okay, That's fine. So at least we know we had no optionals. Hopefully as well, it'll also mean next time round there'll be full fuel going in. Nope, we'll bring that back up then, just in case. I can't imagine there will probably be many instances where we need to brim the tank, but... Right, that's fine, there we go. Yeah, as far as they haven't set a tyre limit for this one, I'll be honest, but hey ho. Guy in front's already lapsed down. We'll see. Don't think there's any such thing as a lucky dog in Indy. Pretty certain there isn't. So I don't think he's I think he's in for a long afternoon. No idea what we're doing so far back. But hey ho. Yeah, I don't really want to be around Thierry, I'll be honest. We'll just keep trying to save fuel. One left to green. Get ready. Race will resume at the end of this lap. Right, which side are we on? Someone else is into the pits for whatever reason. I mean, they'll catch back up, so it doesn't really matter. I think this is the thing around here, isn't it? There's so much sturdy on of just building up, just the anticipation, hoping you get towards the end in a good position. 26th again, so we're back where we started, so we're going to be, you know, we're probably going to be inside because the 31's in the way. There was 32 car split, so I think P32's obviously already written himself off. But we shall wait and see.
would love to drive the Indy car a bit more. Need to try and find like a good slot a week where there's some racing going on. Not such a fan of it on road courses, I'll be honest, but on the ovals it is good fun. Also, a single far restart? Yeah. Which is quite interesting. Try and put a little bit of heat in the front. Almost ready to go green though again. Of course, there's always single file restarts. Don't know why. Yeah, a bit annoying. But obviously, you get caution so early on, but we've got to try and just get a pass on that 150, like I keep saying. We need to put the fuel mix back down before I forget. Green, 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 let's go. He can't jump anyone before the start line. E16. Tires are so cold. Yeah, everyone just all over the road trying to find anywhere with put some heat in them. Cars just in front. Coming into the pits. Seventeenth place. Oh, P32 has come back out then. That's the amount of air as well you just feel around the car. Just sort of settle him, try and get some laps under our belt. Really is such a race of just being patient and not expecting anything until right towards the very end. Big wreck, big wreck. Come on, man. Looks like P5's been dip. Again, don't think that should have done us any damage. He's lost his rear wing. Where's the 29 car? Yeah, where on earth is 29 car, sorry? Still waiting on the 29 car. There he is. And he's wrecked. Yeah, I don't know why you're trying to drive that, buddy. Won't change tires this time round. I mean, why have you got to stay behind this man? Just tow. I'm sure, there's going to be nothing your team can do with that. We 
to get back around nice and quickly. Wait for around here though. Cars just do things out of that. So we'll see how much damage we've got. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Anything? Nothing again? Wonderful. Thought better just keep checking. As long as we don't go a lap down now. I do like the lights on the dash as well, obviously, to let you know when there's a caution. It's quite cool on these things. Ooh. Got back up to the back a bit quicker than I thought I would. Again, we will continue to save the fuel. Safety car in this lap. It should mean now, obviously, all the guys that haven't pit at all, we've got quite a few laps extra fuel than them. You don't really lose anything by having the fuel in the tank. But one to green again then. At the moment, this race is going to take over three hours. We're averaging over a minute a lap. Which is not great. Like I always say in the NASCAR races, you kind of just want sort of 40, 50 laps so you can get into at least a pit cycle. You can sort of get used to it. Sort of ease into the race, but people don't do that. I'm up inside the top 20 now. There are so many people that are wrecking out early. That's why I think it's so important to keep the nose clean. Because people are just going to continue to wreck. It's so easy to do this here. Don't think, I know a lot of people aren't a fan of the setups. Safety cars coming in. Get fuel mix back up. Gears back down. Let's go again then. That 15. Nope. Oh. It's a problem with them only doing it on US servers. Green flag. Just loitering around the back for now. Again, tyres are so cold off the restart. Oh, 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 and another one's gone. Safety car out. Come on, guys. We were picking up spots, but. It's a bit ridiculous. Right, 
A race of patience, this one. You can tell, this is the problem we're doing no quality splits. There will be people that have literally just jumped in and done zero laps. And there's also a lot of people that just think Indy 500 is just foot to the floor for three hours. I think, yeah, a lot of people are quite shocked with how this thing's handled so far this year. I'm not exactly the most practiced person in the world, but I've done a few laps, so I need to know what I should expect. Just this cold rubber and everything like that. People just go ridiculous. Better like these power moves, less than 10% in. Pitting. We're not going to pit this time. We're going to change it up. Is anyone really pit? I don't think so. Up to 14th now. It's getting a bit ridiculous. Alex is getting involved. Words me how many cars are already a lap down. The fact we're up 12 spots from where we started, bearing in mind we were down to what, 29th I think by the end of lap 1. And we haven't really made any overtakes I want to say, I think we've made 1 or 2. I mean last year I think we had 2 guys on the lead lap at the end of this race. In the one I did. I think I ended up two laps down, I want to say. It's because I had to pit really late on. I was four to go, so I ended up going an extra lap down. There were about five of us a lap down. But we'll get ready to go green again. Three cautions inside 20 laps, though, isn't reassuring. But again, as the cars get thinned out, later on in the race, hopefully we'll get more green runs. This thing as well, obviously, at Indy. If a car hits a wall, they're, they're pretty much just out of it straight. It's not like in the NASCAR Cup Series races where you can sort of limp round a bit. Things like that. If you, if you hit a wall in this, a lot of the time you'll go back and the team will go, yeah, no, we can't do anything, you're out. And you won't even allow you to leave the pits again. NASCAR, you can normally try and limp the thing round. Like I did at Kansas when it a couple of weeks ago. Guess how many laps will go caution free this time around though? My guess is about two. We're up to eleventh. How on earth have we managed that? We can get to the top 10 by just not doing anything, that's quite impressive. It's amazing just how much fuel these things use as well. I mean, we're sat around at 3,000 RPM at 70 miles an hour and it's still only doing 18 MPG. It's not great. I mean, on proper laps, no slipstream or anything, you can be doing like 3.5 MPG, it's quite funny. Very worrying, but quite funny. I just save a little bit more fuel. Be ready, we're going green. Get 
around in the final corner then. Hopefully this time we can actually get some laps under our belt, but I'm not optimistic. Tires are going to be cold. Seems got very slow response time on the steering rack as well. Green flag, we're racing. You going? We go. This guy doesn't know how green flags work. Car down low, clear low. He's gonna get a penalty. How? Who's binned it? I mean, it's getting a bit ridiculous. Who's managed to bin it on the restart? I really should do course and removed highlights for this sort of thing, but I try to give you guys the full experience. And a lot of it, unfortunately, is this. I mean, Daytona went alright. We didn't have too many issues there. I mean, we had quite a few cautions in the first half, but then second half of the race, I think we had like two cautions? I mean, today might be the same if people keep wrecking each other. If we get it down to like a 20 car field, it won't be too bad. Definitely down below 30, I think, already. Then you've got people like Luca who are laps down already, who don't know how to do restart procedure. Just like Vibin. You're going to be top 10. Should have hit, to be honest, taken fuel, but. Chief's right. We're smashing it. I think I can count 14 cars between me and the leader, so there's already like five cars laps down in front of me. Oh, what's this guy doing? I'm going to go for the John Alacy. Um hand placement as well. Not sure how on earth he managed to do this in a Formula 1 car, but we'll roll with it. I'm right behind the five. Give me a chance, crew chief. If these instances as well aren't taking cars out of the race fully, it's just so annoying. Don't want to get through like 60 laps of just cautions and then get taken out on one of the restarts. And Lucas seems like the kind of guy that could, to be honest. One to go, next time by. Get ready, race will resume at the end of this lap. How good was the MPG that time around? 17. I wonder what, what rev range these cars are at the most economical. 
I mean, what are they? 2.2 litre twin turbo V6s, aren't they? We're up to ninth. Trying to look at the positive still. Try and put a little bit of heat into the rubber. Heads up, prepare for green flag. Got Terry still behind us. How's he going to fare in a battle with other cars? Alright, let's get ready to go green then. Albeit only probably for a corner, but we'll wait and see. This guy's probably just going to go when he feels like again. Green flag. P9. Car outside. God. That's not fun. Remember, tyres are cold. Can't really afford to lose the draft though. These guys are going aggressive off the restart up front. Clear low. Just gonna let him have it. Still very, very early days. Actually gonna get a lap caution free. Someone's got a penalty. Or drive through, I'm guessing. Need to be using fourth gear more through the turns. This guy seems quick though, just in front of us. Just to get a bit more confidence in the car, isn't it? We have got good pace. That's really reassuring that time to hit. Just know we're not missing something ridiculous. And it gives us now a good lap delta to chase as well. Oh, that was a bit too high. Cars in front of you, the aero push. A good gap to the guys behind. We're going to take more fuel. Top three seems to be able to make a good gap that time round. We'll have five and a half in. Uh, I probably will. Uh, did we bother with tyres? There's no limit on tyres, may as well.
pit lane going to open? Or? Yeah, there we go. Again, like I said, may as well room the tank. Look out for the pit speed limit. That's one way around to get into the pits without using your brakes. There's definitely a couple of wrecked indie cars. Is Thierry literally just following me this entire race? And where on earth is that? No, no, there's not a lucky off. What? Why? Why do people think there was? Why? What is that guy doing? Are we now going to have to pit? Right, we'll need to double check the damage now. What on earth is that guy doing? We're going green next time by. Watch your speed. You just need to double check the damage we can't be any front wing. Is the car okay? Car's okay. That's fine then. No, I'll probably be in a bit. OTT with the car checks early on, but I just don't want to have any damage. Don't want to get back out there and realise the car's got no rear wing suddenly. Not even at lap thirty yet. Is it going to be one corner before another caution? Probably. Green, 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 let's go. What's this guy doing? Car outside. Clear high. I've no idea whether that guy was trying on pin it or not.
little bit more debris. Oh. No portion? Oh. This guy doesn't know his positioning. Still there, V6. He's still there, clear high. More bumping and bashing behind us. Against something. Still there. Still there. Clear outside. The gap in front is now two point two. Is Vi Damage himself hitting that or I think he got away with it? Sixth place. Once you get the tires back up to scrub. It's not too bad through to like turn one. Turn two it's horrible still. I don't know what people like that are doing. Well, I have no confidence in people. Price. P5, the lock time was 42.3. Pretty just resorted to lying about our position, as always. Guys has already done a forty. The car in front has just done a forty one point three. Inside. Clear low. P six. So that any dirty air? Well not too much dirty air in front of us. Turn one is pretty much flat again. Delta climb down the streets. Oh, oh, oh. There you go, the last is gone. The gap in front is now 3.3 seconds. Eighth place. I don't want to jinx it, but hopefully now we're actually getting some laps under our belt.
So yeah, we can just take it completely pinned. Yeah, it's good to get a few laps in like this, just sort of build some trust with the car. We've only got ten guys on the lead lap. There are waters here, it really is killer. Ah, there we go. Yeah, ten of us already on the lead lap. That was actually about ten laps, though. Call that the 28 by. There he is, Gabriel. Um, what on earth? That better not wreck us. Oh my god, how bad's the damage? What on earth is Gabriel speed. doing? What was that? We're gonna go a lap down here. Oh come on! Oh come on! Thirty-one seconds are required. He's just rage quit as well. So he's wrecked us and then just rage quit. Can we stay out on the lead lap? Got to get through all these required. It's going to be close. Don't know. The there's no way we're going to do it. It's pitting. Actually, they're all in. Come on. Come on, everyone's in. We can't afford to take the optionals, though. Go. Right, go. Don't know where I wreck the car is. Come on, we need to stay ahead of all these guys. Come on, 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 come on. Yes! No! Why? Why do we have to let the two by? Oh, we don't have to let the two by shortly. Oh, why? So we get wrecked while I dive. A guy doesn't know what he's doing. And now we're that down. There's not really going to be a lot we can do with this now, is there? That's why some miracle we can get our lap back. Where even is the six? That's so going early on. So really now our only hope is just to stay out as long as possible in this race. We gotta try and just fuel save like crazy just so we can try and get a lap back.
Safety car in this lap. I mean, there's still going to be a lot more wrecks, though. That's what we got to remember. But yeah, from a lap down, doesn't fill me with a lot of confidence. Just got to save every bit of fuel we can now. Got well, no idea, like I said, what Adrian was doing. Not even a quarter of the way there yet. And things we couldn't have even gone back round a lap to try and catch up, otherwise it would have been penalised. If we're not pitting with a meatball. All we can hope for, yeah, is just to go as long as possible to try and get the lap back. Get ready, get safety cars coming in. We cannot afford to pit now until the tank's empty. Basically. No idea why this guy isn't keeping up. Can't even... I mean, we've still got like a minute's worth of optionals that we just can't take. I've got no idea how that's going to affect it. What, where are these guys positioning themselves? Green flag, we're racing. P16. Pfeiffer is reining you in. The gap's now 0.4. Yeah, we definitely got damage. He's still there. Car inside. Clear inside. The guy in front is Burgess. Car low. Hold your line. Clear low. Inside. Clear low. We get all the aero wash and none of the top end speed now. Carlo. Still there. Clear inside. Hard down low. <sighs> Inside's clear. Car inside. Don't trust this guy either. Still there. We've got to get ourselves into a position where we can take the optionals, work out how slow the car is, and then go from there in this one, I think. Inside, gap to Pfeiffer, ahead is increasing. It's now 1.0. Clear low. Look at the arrow, man. The lack of it. Carlo. Hold your line. Clear low. The lap time was at 43.7. Clear low. Clear low. Still there. Clear inside. 
Oh shit. Don't wanna do that. Don't wanna do that. Don't wanna do that. Don't wanna do that. Right now we need another caution before the guys catch me up again. Which might not be that long with the lot of times we're sitting. At least we can keep up with these two by the looks of it. The guy in front is Pfeiffer. Oh, another caution. B17. How is that not a caution? The gap to Pfeiffer ahead is increasing. It's now 6.3 seconds. Yes! Oh shit. Right, is it worth taking all the optionals now and then trying to make the lap back up? Or is it worth trying to get the lap back up and then taking all the optionals? I reckon it's worth trying to take the optionals now. At least then we've got a quick race car still. Uh, we won't take. F uh, no, we probably should take fuel. We'll take tyres. I just don't want to go two laps down, that's my biggest worry. If we go two laps down, it's completely over. Come on, close up. <laughs> Gotta have a quick race car though. Already at 12x as well, aren't we? I think. Yeah. Don't know if 17 is a drive through and then 25 is DQ or what. Look out for the pit speed limit. Let's get all those optionals sorted. Or as much of it as we can. We need a quick race car, like I said. As long as we don't go two laps down, that's the biggest worry. That Christian guy survived that crash, I will not know how. If we see the leaders coming back round as well, we're gonna have to just bail out the pit lane. Should be fine though by the looks of it. But yeah, just so annoying. Just people signing up that clearly have no idea, like not even what to expect from it. There's the leaders, but that's fine. Okay, go. Hopefully now we've got a quick race car again. It's only the one lap down. I 
Now again, we just got to try and stay out as long as possible now. We've got to try and make this lap back up. That means saving fuel. I don't have any cars we're going to run in anymore either. Don't want to have to lift, don't want to have to brake, don't want to have to brake, don't want to have to brake. I'm going to have to brake. Try and just waste as little fuel as possible. We might be down to sort of 24, 25 cars left though. Inside 50 laps is not great. Again, hopefully it just means all the people that aren't going to have the ability to get to the end are gone, and then hopefully we can get more just caution free running towards the end. Because I mean, last year I think it took about 2 hours 50. This one so far is looking like it's going to take 4 hours if every 50 laps is like that first 50 laps. Heads up, prepare for green flag. Preparing for green. Still trying to save fuel. I feel really, really aggressive with the fuel saving now. Right, let's get ready to go again then. Still, we're only a quarter of the way there. A lot can change. Let's keep doing what we're doing. Green flag. No. Living death? And what carbon fibre kicked up? 16th place. Oh! Oh, how on earth did they survive that? That is a cold. I think we've got a quick race car again though, oh, yes! Sorry. God, the industry. Cold rubber and proper aero wash is not fun. Carlo. They're inside. The car ahead's pitting now. The car down low. 14th. We are low. Yeah, I do not like these guys. Back in trying to loot round there. Car outside. Still there. Still there. P15. Safety cars out. Full course yellow. Oh, big wreck. Why have we got to let the five by? And then we've got to hope leaders pit. Car's gone though. Got a couple of people on lap down now, so hopefully we can battle with it. Steady on. 
you go just flying up into our mirrors. Right, are we going to see leaders in? Catch it up, switch your car, catch it up, five car. Pit roads open. Uh, leaders aren't in, but a few people are. So a long old race this. Really does play on your mind. I mean fifty six laps in. I mean we're still the averaging over a minute a lap. Which is woeful. We just need is to try and get past like lap 100 now. Back on the lead lap first, of course. <sighs> Trying to save as much fuel as possible. Top gear, lowest fuel mode. Hopefully the leaders will come in if we get like another 10 lap run. I don't think anyone's particularly draining the tank. I'm not sure you would have even been able to this early on still. Got more guys dipping out there. Yeah, surely we must be down to about sort of 23, 24 cars already. We're going green next time, bye. How about a 14th, though? We are still making places. <sighs> right. Let's see how many laps we can go green this time. A really safe fuel right up into the line. Be ready, we're going green. Just 
trying to change the modes back down as late as possible. It's number five, and for reasons like that. Green flag, we're racing. Clear high. This guy gonna jump me off the oh restart? He's still there. B14. Look at that gaggle of cars in front. He's still there. Hold everything still. He's still there. We're clear outside. Try and get past the five. Cold tires. Coming into the bits. Car high. B thirty. Clear outside. Oh. Another caution. No. Surprisingly. Not yet, anyway. I'm just so happy that pit stop fixed the aero damage. I really thought we were just going to be in for a long afternoon. The gap ahead is now 0.9. Again, we've got to go long on fuel. Be saving it where we can. You can see why it's killing so many people. You have to just lift off so much. It's so hard to judge. What a 12th, huh? Side curves. Surely got one of the wall soon. Hopefully, when they do, everyone will pit.
got to be about, it's about 20 cars still running, surely. To see what that does. Trying to save a little bit of fuel. Gotta get that MPG as high as possible. Seem to have any effect on the pace. It's really important to test these things now as well because it could come in real handy towards the end. As long as we're in the slipstream, yeah, I think we can get away with mode 4. Might need both three down the straights, but... That bike was at 41.9. For the MPG rise. So I'd like to see there was some proper running. Yeah, last runner in this. It's weird as well, just the way the air moves the car around. You feel like your arrow's straight and suddenly you just get swung towards the wall a little bit. Really gotta try and keep the concentration up even when you're focusing on other things. You've just done the track's definitely starting to rubber in as well, obviously as the fuel gets a bit lighter. run the tank dry this time around. I get a little bit worried. Good to get to half distance though.
just a little bit more understeer there. sort of running though I like around here. You really just learn so much about the car. So much about what you can do later on in the race. Oh, guy nicks the wall. Somehow. Nope, he hasn't got away with it. Oh, bigot! Oh, that's unlucky. I feel so sorry for the guy behind me because there was nothing he could do there. That's his day well and truly over. We are not pitting though. We cannot afford to pit if we want to get this lap back. What we've got to do is stay out and then pray for another caution not long after. Because I would have thought surely all the top guys are going to have to pit now. Yeah, that is heartbreaking though for that guy. Right, come on, let's get our lap back. Yeah, I mean, we learned about Fuel Mode 4, which is good. We weren't really losing anything through that. Alright, let's watch everyone peel in and try and get this lap back. everyone. No, I don't even feel my pain. Oh, come on, man. Is one guy staying out? Surely not. Unless that's the guy that's lapsed down. Is pitting. This guy that stayed out lapsed down? I think so. I hope so. Yes, he is. So hopefully now we should make the lap back up. Now we just can't afford to lose it again. We need another quick caution. This could be critical for our race. Yeah, I've changed back the fuel, so next time we pit, it is going to be a brim and new tyres. Quite surprised, to be honest, they haven't limited tyre sets for this, but hey-ho. I'm still just in awe that that aero optional worked. I don't know if they've just made the car more difficult to drive, but easier to repair. It just seems a bit weird, but... I mean, I'm not complaining so far. I'm sure I will when we wallop it into a wall. He's got green though. Once again, if we can try and get past these two, that would be good. Then we need another caution. That's the aim. Torsten's not enough. Yes, I think we've got 20 cars still running by the looks of it. I mean, some of them are miles back. <gasps> we can pass the pace car. Yes. I 
the game. We're still, we're still trying to save fuel at the moment. Barely over a third of the way there still. I go in. I cannot afford to pick up a 1x because we have another 4x we get a drive through. Get ready. Safety cars coming in. Don't know where all the other guys are gone. Why are you so far back? Is this guy trying to like guess the start, is he, or what? We need another caution quick. We are so screwed otherwise. Green, 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 let's go. I've done that twice now on restarts. I'm inside the top ten, though. Would we definitely lose a full lap to the leaders if we prepared? I think we would. Or you lose pretty much a full lap, don't you? Again, still mate. There. Attack position. He's still there. The car in front of us is now Gil. You're clear outside. God. Car low. Still there. He's going to get boxed here. Clear low. Do you love Got about seven more laps in the tank as well. So if we get a caution, we need it now.
was making panic a bit. Skill guy though seems quite happy to hold positions on the high side. I'll try and force an error out of him. You've got about three laps of fuel left. Oh, yes, come on. Yes, 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 yes. That is what it takes. Oh, God. Don't. Don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. That's an annoying instant point, but that's fine. Now we can get our fuel. And we're still on the lead lap. That being said, if we get another 4x, we're screwed. It's going to be, yeah, be another couple of cars gone, though. Or at least the one. There was definitely a wheel off somewhere. Great. Never have I heard sweeter words. Looking in for all the fuel. And tyres. Probably more people aren't pitting him, but there you are. Watch your speed limit in the pits. You need to keep trying to save fuel though. I don't know when it's going to be useful towards the end. No, but when a race might become a fuel mileage race. We're still not even halfway there yet. But hopefully, second half we're going to get less cautions. We are down yet yeah, to about 18, 19 runners, I want to say. And we are, far more importantly, still on the lead lap. Again, let's just keep it clean, keep it tidy. No more four axes. So if we get a drive through, we're pretty screwed. Actually, a drive through probably wouldn't put us a lap down, but still be better to avoid it. Guy behind is a lap down. So there is, yeah, just the ten of us on the lead lap still. Tierra is still in front of me, though, funnily enough. Safety car in this lap. Okay, now we're on mission to save fuel again, though. 
This race semi goes under three hours now, I'll be amazed. Based on the fact we're already at like an hour 32. And we're still only on lap 87. What of the fewest finishes is in, a, is in one of these iRacing Indy 500s. I mean, Daytona 500, we didn't have many. There were three of us on the lead lap in the end. And I only just scraped it back to the lead lap. But I did come runner-up there. Which is, by far and away, my best result in a major event. Obviously, Joe and I have won a couple of the VRS sprints. Yeah, well, VRS endurance series, but obviously they're just weekly things. Get ready. Safety car's coming in. Safety car coming in into this lap. And again, the aim is still just keep the nose clean. Get to those final 50 laps at the very earliest before you start thinking about finishing. I don't know why it's so spread out, but. Green, 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 let's go. Um, okay. No, no, no. Place to be. Did I drop it off me or did he just drop it? He didn't get an instant point for it. Needs to be Lucas still running in this. Run to eighth though. Card does still feel quick. That's the other important thing. Just relax, we're slowly building up the confidence though, this thing is still a quick race car. I feel like that fuel map 4 thing can come really useful towards the end as well. These are ahead of Thierry, no? Still trying to take as little of the tyres as we can. Would like now for us to be able to get some good green flag running in, to be honest. Still not sure how many laps you can do on a full tank. Three point, let's say four miles per gallon. Eighteen and a half gallons, so you're talking... 56... no, more than that. 
74 miles there and thereabouts. 18 and a half times 4, yeah, so. So that's 74 miles. So just under 30 laps. We've got 110 laps to go. Yeah, now if we could take over sort of lap, if we could get to about lap one ten, that another caution, or next round of stops, that'd be good. Gotta be really careful pitting him round here. Well, I said that at Daytona, and that was still what cost me the chance of a win. Up to seventh, huh? It's the highest we ran all day. Let's not forget, we did start this from 26th on the grid still. Yeah, car does feel quick, though. Don't want to get overconfident. Again, still early days, but yeah, feel like we're in a good spot. Hopefully, we've had like our one moment where we go a lap down in this race. Get ready, race will resume at the end of this lap. Still, of course, trying to save the fuel. I mean, really pitting any time after sort of lap on the seventh is probably pointless, unless you need the fuel. But again, we know we can save some. He says not even in the lean mix. Still, not still not halfway there. I reckon, yeah, this one's probably going to go for about an hour, uh, three and a half. I want to say, if we even get to the end, still, there's a very good chance we'll still get wrecked at some point. I mean, more than about, well, probably, yeah, pretty much half the field has already. So I very much expect there to be more. I'm just waiting for a wreck at the front. Because that Miles and Dan guys have been pretty much top two all day long so far, and they have looked fast. Have a green flag. Fuel map four. B six. It's almost like the tires do take time to grip up. 
As I think it's far more fuel dominated. Says that as soon as he understands massively. Trying to get a good run now. No, what are you doing, man? Still there. Inside to clear. Oh, I see all that was it then. Not like I was going to wreck us. Oh, Luke is gone. Has given us some confident vibes so far. Safety car deployed. Oh, there we go. Is it worth pitting? I think we'll see what the other front runners do. Yeah, Ollie seems confident. So we now tick over to halfway. It's probably worth taking fuel, to be honest. So the whole thing is the pack gets thinner and thinner as we're losing more and more cars still. It's that whole thing of when are we going to start hopefully getting a couple of stints where we do go caution free. Fuel saving more. Actually, I know why I'm not, because I'm pitting. Oh, 
Right, are we going to see leaders in? Rather interesting then. Okay, go. We're in the right. All right, now back to fuel saving. We estimate twenty nine laps of fuel remaining. Mission to save fuel is still a big thing. going on here. Any little thing like that now really just scares me. I just want to have a duke towards the front so we can get an idea of what those guys are like. are a bit tired, I can't lie. One left to green. We're going green next time by. I think we're down to about 16 runners. set up so I can scroll up and down the black box. And yeah, fingers crossed now. We can pretty much go to the end of the race with no cautions, but I'm not optimistic. Of course, people will still make mistakes, but... Just gotta wait and see. Over halfway there, though. We're going green. Get ready, going green. Over halfway there, but still a long halfway to go. Never know if it's worth. No car outside. Hold your line. The clear outside. Robert. 
Still there. Still there. there How's he got so much top end? Man's got a missile. You lost so much to the leaders on that restart. Thing as well, if we can average upwards of five miles a gallon, we're looking at 36 laps stint. 37, really. And that would be a massive help, but of course, that also requires us to be in the slipstream. I think it's still a little too early to be doing that sort of maths. I suppose there'll be a new man's land there. A couple of lap cars still juking it. Got one guy in our slipstream still. It's Ollie by himself. He's sure he's going to fall back to this group. Still don't feel particularly confident around these three. So much to the leaders at the moment. The gap behind is now 0.6. The lap time was at 42.5. And we are also saving a lot of fuel still. pack of our group. Guys behind are really close back in them again. was not fun. That was a proper this race might be gone moment. Still trying to just aggressively fuel save at the moment. Don't even know if it's worth it. You've just done 
in. Is in. What's going on? They run out of fuel. Are they all in? It's only P3 bullets, isn't it? P3. This is where our fuel saving strat starts to come in. Still got two thirds of a tank. The car ahead's pitting. The top two in as well, because we can go a lot longer. U toes in. P2. Okay, so when does Dan need to pit? Might need some laps here. I think we did last year as well. Very early on, but for the second time in two years, then we are going to lead the Indy 500. Again, we've still got a lot of fuel left in the car. explain why those guys were so quick as well because generally as the fuel comes off people do get quicker and quicker there we go it's official we've led a lap that lap time was 41.9 outside we need a little Still bit more fuel clear outside Try and get up in some zip streams still. How quick we can go now, though. Now the MPG's going to drop a bit. That's good consistency, keep it up. Look at that, straight down to 4.4. more air than I expected, but we're back in the slipstream. That's the important thing. UPB? Yes. You've just done a 
It's a long way to go, but I'm feeling quick at the moment. sit here and fuel save, I'll be happy. So it's a case trying to keep the tyres in good nick. in. idea what happened there. The car just got so loose on us. What happened there then? Did I get too low? Not particularly. There's just nothing I could do. Try to save it. That might be us out. If it's not us out, it's going to be a lot of damage. Oh, that's heartbreaking, man. Just as we got into a groove with it. We'll lob 10 gallons of fuel in. Obviously put new tyres on as well. That just seems so weird, the way the car got loose. Only a minute of required. That's not as bad as I thought it would be. We're going to be a couple of laps down. But still a long way to go. We'll see what the car's like as well. We may as well take the optionals to be honest, otherwise we're going to be way down. So we are going to be a couple of laps down. That was just so weird, the way the car went by itself. It wasn't like we were in lap traffic or anything. It just came through turn three. Or turn four, even. And just the back end just started sliding on me. We tried to correct it once, just a little bit, and it just nudged it the other way. At that point, I knew it was just going round. It was just a case of where and how much we could avoid. Oh, man. That's heartbreaking. We were just getting into a good groove as well. But still, I mean, 80 laps to go. May as well stick at it if we've still got a race car that works. If not, we might just have to call it a day, unfortunately. Three laps down, it's not going to be recoverable. I mean, it's going to be close to five, I think. And again, that's a big if the car's still drivable. I really thought we were in the groove then. I really thought something could have been happening. But we've got to keep at it still. Because there might still be more wrecks. 
And yeah, there is only 14 of us still running. Just kind of mad. I mean, if there's a big one off a restart or something, you never know. Let's get back out there, see what the car's like. So it might be game over, but we might still be able to hang on. There's traffic behind, watch your mirrors. Thirteen was still ahead of Garrett. Car feels okay though, I think. Inside. I mean, we're not even able to touch clear. sixth gear. Oh ho oh, oh. ho. See what it's like with slipstream, whether we can touch sick again. Yeah, we can still. I mean, it's definitely down. But again, we've got to still try and pick up the pieces. count on still people having these sorts of issues I'm amazed I didn't bring out the caution to be honest thinking about it so we were wrecked on the front strap I think Garrett's been it yep I think Garrett might be well and truly out of it now so we might be the last sort of car properly running We might still see people get disqualified, to be honest. I might be clutching at straws here, but we'll wait and see. If we can get back a lap, though, that'd be nice. Even if we can just get sort of back to the top ten. Everyone else diving in. So we might make one lap back. Oh, Miles is staying out. The lead car's pitting. Pfeiffer ahead. He's staying pitting. out as well. Alright, so we're going to be back on the same lap as Pfeiffer then, by the sounds of it. I'm just so gutted we did that, man. But can't worry about it too much. Got to keep our head down. Try and get to the end still. Still could very easily be a top 10 on the cards. certainly be nice if there was a lucky dog in this, but 
I don't think there's going to be... What's that? 15 of them. 14 of them. Actually, Ollie, I think, is still a lap down as well, isn't he? So, 15 we'd need. Oh, and we're not even going to be able to get a lap back, are we? Because Miles is at the front. Just have to broom it next time we need to pit. Yeah, so. Ollie's going to be able to unlap himself, I think. But we're not going to be able to. That's so annoying. But Miles is trying to take such a big gamble here anyway. If we can get out ahead of him, then we'll get a lap back. I think Garrett is well and truly out of it, though. I mean, yeah, like I said, we could potentially get Christian, maybe Frederico, if things go wrong. Of course, anyone else that wrecks. What we really need is to get past Miles. Him then goes a big one that takes everyone behind us out. Like, everyone, completely, like, wheels gone, all that. And we come through to win. I mean, doing six, 70 laps by ourselves is going to be pretty dull, but... It means a dub, it means a dub. Let's get ready to go green then, once more. Less than 70 to go though, from Indy. Looks like we're going to do even yeah, less minders than last year though, rather sadly. Just starting first. Green, green, green. Let's go. Oh, that's fine. Got a cold rubber. It's not fun. Why are you battling me so hard? He's still there. He's still there. Be alone. Inside. Still there. Clear inside. Yep, so we are now last runner in this race from P13. This really has been a race of attrition. And this guy dragged me up to the leader though. seem quick. He's got fast lap of the day, so I'd hope so.
This guy's just breaking me out of toe, isn't he? Oh, shit. First time I've done that today. I still don't get how he dropped it there, man. Honestly. Definitely got aero damage again, though. He's trying to hang on through the corners. Actually, quite amazing when you think about it. The fact that there's so many instances racing, there's actually still a few cars on the lead lap. Or as many as there are still. I think we've still got a good eight or nine cars. You see, isn't it? I think that guy's the first lap down. Oh shit, someone's binned it. That, that was... Was that Thierry? I don't know. No, it wasn't Thierry. Don't know who that was. Was it Miles? Taylor's into the close pit. Was it Miles or was it Uto? No, Uto's still out there. It was Miles. So we might gain another spot then. We need to stay out again if we want to try and gain a lap. So Mars might be well and truly out of it now. So we're still waiting on at the moment, just trying to pick up spots through that. Like I said, we'd still love to walk away with the top ten. thought all these guys were pit as well. That's reassuring for me, the fact that other people have made that mistake now. Alright, all pit. I beg. Tyler would be desperately trying to get his lap back though, wouldn't he? That's okay. The leader's pitting now. So can we make the laps back on Miles then? Is he completely out of it? I don't know why it's suddenly gone so dark as well. So top ten now on the lead lap. 
Only 11th, 12th for myself. A laps down. Well, that Miles, if he's still in this, he might be completely out of it. Well, the fact David still just hasn't left. So he's not giving up. His car's completely wrecked, but he wants to be here for the show. I think fair play. So Laura is now winning. Yuto's into P3. I can't wait for Thierry to somehow win this. 60 to go, though. So 150 miles. It does start to feel like we're getting towards the end game now. We should now be able to have a battle with Chris as well. Next time round, when we do pit, we're going to have to take the optionals, though. Pitting. Oh, it's interesting. One left to green. Pit road is closed right now. Safety car in this lap. Right, we're getting a lap back. I'm at a 13th. No, we were already 13th. Were we? I don't know. I'm just really tempted just to pit now, but I don't think it's worth it. Trying to save as little, trying to save as much fuel as possible. Be ready. We're going green. There's Christian. Green flag, we're racing. They're inside. I think Christian's still definitely got damage in this. Car inside. They're inside. Straight up into P12 then. As well, now. Well, there's Dan's. Has Dan been it as well? So we might be back into the top 10 then. Miles and Dan. Up into the top ten. Oh. 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 
That's Ollie. Gone, I think. How on earth did we avoid that? No way Ollie survived that, surely. So now we've got all the big hitters dropping out. We can still just keep making laps back, that'd be nice though. Damage is like on Ollie's car, but might be P9. Still hope we can get one more lap back so we can have a battle with Federico, but who knows. Sit though anymore. Let's get some slipstream. We got Frederico's up another spot. So we. Nope, Fruity's lied. Soon we will be there. Rico's only five up the road. Still put away about yeah, second a lap to Christian. Here comes Ollie. There we go, ninth place. race is really thin now. The more and more people that we have in issues. More and more people that just make mistakes through lack of concentration. And we're down to what? Ten runners? So it's just, yeah, truly been an Indy 500 of attrition. It could still go even less. Maybe another six laps of fuel. So it should be about seven or eight. Oh, has Carl been lit? Carl's gonna lap down now. Let's see if he's in the pits anyway. I don't think so. No, I don't know then. Still not sure why Alex is doing that in someone. Oh, 
car has just gone one lap down there. Soon. It might be caution free to the end, to be honest. Everyone's spreading out. Just wait to see if other people make mistakes, maybe on pit entry or something like that. Brim it and then well, we won't quite be able to make it to the end, but it'll be close. That lap was This has suddenly got rather lonely, I must admit. Poor car, obviously, what it did earlier on. Might just be able to stretch some one extra lap out of the tank. Gap to Pfeiffer behind it. Sure it's worth it to me, but we may as well. Seconds. Never know when that extra lap's gonna come in handy. Yeah, for conking out there, that's fine. We estimate three laps of fuel left. Yeah, Miles is gone. Still a big battle going on at the front though. Could still be another wreck. I think we're burning through way more fuel than you know, anticipated, to be honest. Yeah. Not quite going to be able to stretch that extra lap out of it. Do we take the optionals though? That's the thing. I think it's not worth taking them, and on the off chance we get another quarter, then we can take them then. The captain, Pfeiffer, behind is increasing. It's now 16 seconds. Yeah, we're still further away from Pfeiffer behind. I mean, this probably hasn't been the best Indy 500 to come and watch if you're in the grandstands. Ten cars running round. I mean, nah, I say that, there's still a close battle going on for the lead. I said if they come together, there might still be some places. There you go, Dan's gone. Risking anything this late on. One liter remaining. Should be a nice simple stop. Oh, 0.1 of optionals. If that fixes everything, I'm going to be amazed.
Come on. Oh no. No, don't do that wheel. Joliet is now in the lead. Somewhat more accurate. Car approaching. Watch your mirrors. Right, might run him with a lot more steam and rack to the end. Your water temperature's creeping up. Not bigger things to worry about. Oh my god, it's impossible. Why is it? It was just getting worse and worse. That might be as well and truly out of it. Through my wheel just decalibrating itself still. I'll stay high out of the way. Yeah, that might be us completely out of this now, unfortunately. We'll see how bad the damage is. Why does it do that, man? Speed limit in the pits. Your engine temperatures are okay. It doesn't really All matter too much at this stage. There you go. Oh, 55 seconds. Might as well just take it all again. I just want to get to the end of this thing now. I'm just going to lose just about another three laps. I don't know. Ollie's, no, Ollie's still out there. Damn it. I don't really want to fall outside the top ten. Right, we'll wait and see then. Might just be worth taking all the requires and then heading back out there. I do not want to drop outside the top ten at this point. That's so annoying though. Go, go, go. Yeah, steering rack's definitely more over. That's not my wheel this time. Take care, there's a car approaching. Oh, what the hell? What is that about? Alright, we've got bigger damage on this thing. I don't want to ruin someone else's race this late on. Let's see what the car's liking to hear. Yeah, no, car's knackered. Yeah, that's it. That's us over. Not going to risk taking someone else out with damage like that towards the end. Into the pits for repairs. Oh, it looks like it's P11. At the end of the day there. Yeah, there's nothing we can do with a car like that. 22x as well is not fun at all. Um, but yeah, I mean, we learnt a lot. Definitely felt like the win was on the table though today. But I guess everyone says that in the Indy 500, don't they? Thank you all so much for watching nonetheless. If you have enjoyed, do make sure you leave a like, get yourself subscribed as well. And yeah, we will be back very, very soon. Of course, with more iRacing content.